Yeah, I checked out um, Sonics versus Peckham, which is uh, Peckham's probably one of the more prominent uh, min min mains uh, competing right now. And uh, Sonics is actually 3 0 on, um, on Peckham. So we're going to have to see how it kind of plays out here. I'm actually going to see if Wrath has played against uh, any of these min mains uh, or yeah, min mains, min mins, Peckhams, all that <laughs> stuff. They all, they all have all, all the min mins are pretty pretty strong i mean the ones that we've seen so far min main and peckham being all, some of the strongest nonetheless here but oh no not like this oh actually this is what reminded me so yeah remember when i told you about how uh, i was watching uh grand finals recently i did commentary for one of them it was uh wrath versus sonics wrath actually was playing min min at the time so yeah Wrath is very familiar with his character. I'm not sure if that's actually something he's been working on, but uh, it, it was looking pretty decent. I feel like, yeah, I was going to say, if Wrath has been working on this movie, he'll definitely know how to handle what tools you need to work against, especially with a character like Min Min. But so far, honestly, he's doing a pretty good job, because like I said, usually she wants to keep you at the distance, but Sonic has a very good time just trying to close up that gap. Dash attack, but no cigar here, just barely getting anything here. Honestly, you have to give it to Min Min. Like, Min Min knows. Wrath is the one doing a lot of the approaching, especially losing that stock early with that Ooh. offense chain. Yo, he is not going to let that affect him at all. Yeah, man. Uh, that's how you want to answer back, though. You want to answer back with the stock immediately. Even though Min Min got off to a very hot start here, Wrath is very capable of turning this around if Min Min's not careful. Right now, we're going to see about 16%, but 69% on Wrath here. He's got to be careful finding a way to dodge these arms, you know, bob and weave through it. Oh, God, that could have been really bad, but the shield going to be able to hold through. Yeah. All right, Wrath with a little recovery, 80% here. Min Min looking to get one of the arms there and hit Wrath, but unfortunately, none of them will hit. Wrath looking for an opportunity here. I honestly look, you have to give it a Wrath. He kind of understands how the character works, having played the character himself, as you said. And if knowing is half the battle, then Wrath only has to understand how Min Min is gonna go, especially after going for those that very committal double arm swing. Look at how look at the opening Wrath has been able to find from that. Yep, there we go. Could potentially take a stock right here. Yep, that's one spring. Not gonna be sending him far enough. Going for the up smash. Interesting option. Alright. There we go. Another spin dash. Trying to get a little bit of that extra damage out there. And all of a sudden, he's got the percentage lead. Could be the sock right there. Won't be able to find the forward air, but the oh. spring. Oh, no. Wait. Okay, Such a good tool. Oh, no. And she is struggling to land. All right, Wrath. Oh. Finally, places his feet. Yeah, forward tilt. Not going to be in mid main pretty much. another chance of life. But the way that Wrath has been playing, it's making it very difficult. Trying to look for that dragon laser there. Not going to be able to find it. Oh, boy. Oh, yep. no. Yeah. That's so rough. Yeah, Megawatt definitely going to blow up that stock there, especially at 100-something percent. I mean, that Megawatt's so strong, too. You have to also respect it, too, because if you hit your shields one too many times, man, you're taking a lot of damage, but your shield may be actually gone. Wrath looking to set up the up B yet again, and that's such a good play, because look at how low min main got sent, and unfortunately... I have talked about this many, many times. Her recovery with the tether is not that great as compared to other tethers in the game, especially when you compare Byleth and Joker. Right, yeah. I mean, Joker is absolutely insane, and Byleth is also incredible due to the fact that he can grab, um, you know, walls and kind of allow him to scale walls a little bit. But so far, uh, yeah, like, Min Min's does have some decent, like, vertical coverage, but, like, as far as, like, horizontal, it, it's just, it's not that far. Yeah, and I feel like that's a little bit of a balance with the character. Like, pretty much the only way that you can beat Min Min is if you smother her effectively without giving her time to go for the distance. And Sonic is one of those characters that can smother his opponent just the way that you can kind of see it slowly with Wrath playing things out here. Looking to just hold the shield, call out the neutral air, unsafe, even with the Ram Ram. And this gives Wrath a little bit of the opportunity here, 72% to 136. Yeah, just gotta play your game. Be patient. Don't force anything you don't need to, especially that megawatt out. Oh, that's one. But that's a, it's a little bit more than half rage. So, oh, that could have been a stock ender, actually. Up smash from Min Min is very, very good. Uh, not only does it reflect, but it actually kills solidly early as well. Yeah, it's got quite a good arc, too. You can usually confirm anything like down tilt or up smash at lower percents. But yeah, just having it as a reflector and a really decent anti-air, it gives her a plethora of tools aside from her arms. Goes for two swings here, no hits. And this gives Wrath the opportunity on the 99. And this is what I talked about, too. Sonic can just close the gap on Min Min where uh -oh, she would normally... that's it. Yeah, that's it. Just two springs away and Min Min is gone. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, once it gets to those about like 140, 150, a couple springs and it just Min Min can't recover. It just does not have that horizontal recovery. So well played from Wrath. And uh, you could definitely see that Wrath was starting to figure out the matchup and the way that Min Main tries to throw out their arms. Because every single time, like Wrath was on the ledge and Min Main threw out both arms, he, you could tell that Wrath had the timing down so he could just neutral get up and get a punish out of it. So that's actually huge. I don't see a lot of people punishing Min Min for a lot of things, but Wrath certainly has the answer. Having the answers indeed, but also I feel like him, just like you said, right, being able to go to the character once before kind of gives him a little bit of an edge. If knowing is half the battle, then knowing what you're going up against, especially with a character like Min Min, it will definitely prove to be much in your benefit. And this is why I feel like it's partially a reason why we see Wrath right now with this current 1-0. We'll see. Uh, definitely Min Main, one of those Min Mins we have seen in top 8 of MSM online. Uh, but this is an MSM, man. It's a Smash GG ladder, and there's a lot of players here with some really strong talent who are just looking to not only make a name for themselves, but also improve. And Min Main is definitely one of them. For sure, for sure. Well, let's see where it goes in this game two. Uh, Min Main's got to find an answer because, again, we're only doing best of three in winter semis. No best of five until three, Grand. Two, Final destination. One. Okay, this is a probably a decent stage for Min Min, but this is also a really good stage for Sonic. I, I don't know how I feel about this. Honestly, I feel like Sonic as a character barely, most, some characters barely have any bad stages, if at all, just right. because the stage list isn't either that big or it just benefits certain characters of an archetype. Oh, wow, that was actually oh. a really nice string. He just keeps it going, too. Oh, what a That's string and what a catch. Yeah, waiting for the landing there coming up from Min Main. And Raph will be the one with the first lock on the lead here. here and honestly, I don't expect anything less from Raph. He's just a, like we talked about earlier, he's just a really solid all around Sonic player who's definitely got some results. Being number two in your own region is one thing, but also being one of the best Sonics out there can say a lot. Uh, it's not even just the region, it's the state, the state of Georgia number two. And keep in mind, Georgia's got some very strong competition down there. They got Cola, they got Fatality, Scat, Vendetta, and Wrath is number two among those names. Like, you definitely know this guy can play the game, knows what they're doing. And look at this, man. Game two looking so different from game one because Wrath is just in complete control. Oh, my God. The oh. second stock. Only 36%. I told you, man. Bottom station, probably not a good idea. <laughs> Hey, we'll want to have to take some of your advice, Gif, because, yeah, Min Main is struggling here with this three-stock on Wrath. Nothing answered just yet. Goes for the gentleman jab just to push her off the stage. Finally, an anti-air, but it's not enough here as Wrath is able to slowly close the gap with homing a tap and two arms to challenge him just before he even gets any of the hits coming out from Min Main. Okay, there we go. Going to get these arms set up. Trying to find something. It just continues to get caught up in Wrath shenanigans, man. Just mid main looking really desperate. Okay, up smash. Not going to be able to take a stock, but just put some damage down. Megawatt still not going to do anything either. Trying to find the laser. They just they can't find anything at all. Yeah, and that laser is pretty much a full screen. There's the up smash, and that's a really good option because you can also stop Wrath from jumping from the ledge, which might be the common option just because you want to avoid any of the arms and you want to get around Min Min for a cross up, right? And that's a good call, call off from Min Min. Wrath finally getting in here with the spin dash forward and Min Min off the stage. You already know that Wrath is looking to quickly exit out with a possible 2-0 and two stocks still in tow. Definitely getting interesting here. Okay, there we go. Gonna get a grab. Looking for the laser though. Min Pain, again, still struggling though. 136, we got that rage kind of building up here. Could use this to their advantage, potentially find a way to make a bit of a comeback, but I'd like to be positive, but this is the way that Wrath has been playing in this game alone as uh, Mio makes it feel otherwise. Oh, actually got the, the hit from, I think, the Dragon Head into the Megawatt. That was actually kind of cute. I like that. Yeah, look at the way that Min Min can just kind of cover both angles with the way that he swings the arms. And wow, understanding that you know what, at those percents, if you're hanging out at the ledge, you'll eventually lose ledge invincibility, and you can actually punish your opponent for that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you gave up stage advantage for what? Oh, okay, whoa. Just turning around for a forward smash when Min Main's on the other side. Oh, there we go. Well played, actually. Looking for the back air. Not going to find the first one. We'll get the second one. Wrath putting this away before it became too late to salvage it because Min Main wasn't making one hell of a comeback. Wrath going to close this out with a 2-0.